Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. In today's episode, we're going to be drawing a wishing well. Now, wishing wells are a lot of fun. You might remember them from fairy tales, fables, or even dirty jokes. So let's draw one. I like to start drawing a wishing well by drawing the sides of the well itself. All I've done is just drawn two vertical lines that are up and down, and then I'm going to connect them with a bunch of lines that are kind of curved. And what I'm doing here is I'm creating the rows for the stones that this wishing well is made from. Next, I'm going to make a couple of short lines here on the sides and bring them in so that they meet the top of what we've already drawn. So that if we now connect the top of these two lines, believe it or not, we have most of the shape of our wishing well already done. Next, we're going to want to put some of the detailing is in from the inside of the wishing well so that it doesn't get in the way later. Make a couple of lines like that, too close together and too close together over there towards the sides. Then a line goes over that and we've created the top of the wishing well, which is a trapezoid for some reason. Well, it always is, isn't it? Now we can put some details into the stones of the wishing well. And if you want to know more about this kind of a pattern, you can look at how I did a brick wall in an earlier video. I'll put the link down in the, uh, what do you call those? comments or description. And stones are a lot like bricks, except they're round or rounder than bricks. But you make them the same way and that you kind of stagger them. So one, two, one, two, like that. And since their stones are a little bit more round, you can indicate that with the shading. Kind of color in one of the corners or like that with a rounded kind of a shadow. And repeat that in each one of them because the light source will be the same on pretty much all of these, right? I'm probably wrong about that. Please remember I am not a licensed art instructor or even a decent artist, so you take your chances when you follow my instructions. We'll do that up here too. And what we're doing is we're creating the stone texture, the pattern, the elements of this wishing well, which is made out of stone. And what makes this wishing well different than any well? What makes a wishing well special? How does it become a wishing well rather than a regular well? Well, I'll tell you, I have no idea. If you do, please put the comment, put the answer in the comments below and tell everybody. So we've got the stone right here, finished. I want to make the back of the well here by making a curved line that stops when you get, you see how that does that? Do I have to explain that? It stops and then it starts and then it, okay. Next, make a small circle, another curve right along there. And this will allow us to indicate the top of the well like that. You can just do that with little dashed lines and little curves. And what's going to um, pull off this illusion 
is coloring in the hole. Hopefully your pen has more ink in it than mine does, as this seems to be not as dark as I want it to be. So once you've filled in the hole right there, you give the illusion of there being a well. Put some lines across here to show that this is made out of wooden slats. And a little sign. You're going to need a little sign right here that comes down on two little ropes. And let's write what says on the sign, and then we'll figure out how big the sign has to be. So we'll write wishes. Five cents. That's right. It's a very affordable wishing well. And by writing the words first, it allowed us to make the sign the appropriate size. And that's basically it. Put some grass down here, as we usually do. And as this pen fades into dryness, we get ready to throw it away. we finished another drawing here, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave some comments down below, hit the like button, subscribe to these videos. There will be more. I don't know how many. I'm getting inspired to do something else, but if you want, I will continue to make these. Maybe not on a daily basis. Who knows? It's up to you. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Till next time, Reverend J. Ta-da. I mean, ta-da.